Fumana Kyle Fumid Kibber is an Anglican priest, a former chaplain general of the South African National Defence Force, and a former South African ambassador to Israel. Fumana Kyle Kibber was born in Cape Town, South Africa. Kibber studied theology at the University of Transkei and was ordained as an Anglican priest. He rose to the rank of commander in Mkanto Wises with a guerrilla arm of the African National Congress. He later joined the South African National Defence Force as a chaplain, after the military was integrated. In 1998, he was appointed Deputy Chaplain General, and then Chaplain General, responsible for military chaplains of all faiths. During his chaplain service he became an honorary member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization Military Chaplains Association. He is also a social scientist, specializing in urban development planning, strategic management, and international relations. In January 2005 he co-founded the Azari Construction Company. Kibbe has stated that the integration of South Africa's military was a matter not only of race, but also of religion a circumflex linked to the first human right a circumflex religious freedom. In addition to his efforts to expand religious pluralism with an SANDF, including the recruitment of its first Hindu chaplain, Kibbe helped create the Southern African Military Chaplains Association, an association of military chaplains from a number of nations in the southern part of the African continent. A primary purpose of that organization, according to Kibber, is the promotion of religious freedom as a human right throughout all the militaries in the region. He worked with Elijah Loza, a trade unionist in Cape Town to recruit and transport young people from Mkanto Wesiswa to fight the apartheid polices of South Africa. Kibber was a founder member of the Anx Department of Religious Affairs in Exile, in Lusaka, Zambia. In July 2004, Kibber was appointed to the position of South Africa's ambassador to Israel serving as South Africa's first black ambassador to that nation. His appointment was linked to the desire of the President of South Africa to make a dramatic change in the relationship between South Africa and Israel. As ambassador, Kibber worked to dispel the idea that South Africa was anti-Israel but stated that much of the responsibility of strengthening relationships between the two countries belonged to Israel. While Kibber's predecessors as ambassador were members of the diplomatic corps in the old South Africa, Kibber's credentials in the liberation struggle in South Africa were recognized by some in Israel as a symbol of South Africa's desire to contribute to a solution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Among Kibber's achievements as ambassador was a trip to South Africa for Israeli leaders of the then ruling Likud party, in October 2004. Subsequent to that visit, he brought Ehud Olmert, the Israeli Minister of Trade and Industry, to meet with President Abe in 2005, followed by a delegation of the African National Congress, to meet with Israeli government officials in Israel. Kibber served as ambassador to Israel for four and a half years, completing his assignment in 2008. One Israeli news article noted that the good humor and ready smiles of both Kibber and his wife Vaisla had won them many friends. Additionally, the article notes that they will never be able to forget their stay in Israel because the youngest of their children is not only a Sabra, but the Kibbers named her Israela in honor of her birthplace. In interviews with the press, Kibber praised Israelis as a loving people and stated that it was a problem with one individual, not the Israeli people in general. He said he preferred to handle the issue through official channels and was satisfied with the apology offered by both the Israeli Foreign Ministry and the Israel Airports Authority, which promised to pursue a thorough investigation of the incident.